A native of Montana, Jim McElwain was a good college buddy of ESPN's Colin Cowherd, while McElwain was the quarterback at Eastern Washington in the early 80s. He's now the new Bulldog offensive coordinator, and he arrives in Fresno as the third at that position in as many years. The quarterback's coach for the Oakland Raiders last season, McElwain was an assistant at Michigan State, Louisville, and Montana State before that, with a reputation as a guy who loves offense. McElwain is excited about the group he'll be working with this season and the opportunity to spread the ball around. At Michigan State in 2004, five Spartan receivers caught at least 20 passes. He would love to do that again this year. And so we spent a great deal of time watching film of his own guys learning what he has. When I first broke into this, uh, you know, whatever, 23, 24 years ago, and, and you maybe filmed two segments of practice because it was on 16 millimeter, you had to go get it developed you know, and and you got three games on a team, and and uh, that's what you had to work with. Now, there's too much film. I mean, a guy can lose his family because you're spending so much time watching film. But uh, the flip side of that is, is, is it does allow you to break down a lot of things and and teach the finer points of what what needs needs to get done. McElwain seems to think and talk out of the box as he has watched film on his current roster of talent. He feels the Bulldogs will have the flexibility to do things they couldn't do last season, tricky things even. That's one of the things that makes offensive football fun. I've been known in the past to run formations and plays without a quarterback on the field. That usually sends, you know, that that screws up the defense a little bit. Having the ability to do that and being able to put some packages in that some of the skills that some of those guys have, that's what makes it exciting. And I'm looking forward to it because you've got guys that can actually handle it back there and have done it. So that's always a lot of fun. Would he like to share some of those trick plays? Yeah, you'll see them. This, this, <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bag of them, and it's just a matter of pulling them out. And, uh, and the kids will have some fun with it. It kind of gives them, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of freshness. I mean, in each week you kind of give them – something out of that bag just as kind of a teaser and and uh and then the defense goes oh my goodness what the heck's this and uh, they're spending all this time trying to figure out how to defend this one inexpensive thing and not working on stopping your main offense it's that philosophy that quarterback tom brandstater noticed quickly i said his style is uh he basically wants the defense to have to worry about as many different things as possible. We're going to give them a lot of different looks and make them you know, play a full game of defense and not, and not just be able to cover one thing. They have to do a lot of different things to, to stop us. Jim McElwain admits a certain laid-back approach that one could imagine was tested last season with the Raiders, though probably served him well. Now he seems ready to get back to teaching. I really enjoyed the players uh, that, that we're with with the Raiders. Um, one thing you get up there is, they're already at kind of a ceiling, and uh, it's really exciting to see these younger guys reach for that ceiling. And, uh, and fortunately enough here, we've got some young players that, that I think are really making strides as far as how they have to go, and that's a satisfying thing as a coach is being involved in the development. McElwain loves more than just the X's and O's. One of his favorite parts of his season with the Raiders the fans. Have you ever seen Star Wars? And you know, <laughs> you know the one where they're in the bar and those guys that they're playing the instruments and stuff. A little bit like that, you know. <laughs> I mean, it is a bizarre, but what a great home field advantage! I, I, those are the greatest fans in the world. They're, you know, they say about Raider fans. Well, I hear the same about Bulldog fans that they are very passionate about their Bulldogs, and you know, we are the Valley. And, and I think that's a fantastic thing. McElwain is giddy about traveling to Kyle Field and College Station. He's amped about Autzen Stadium in Eugene, Oregon. But the one thing that gets him grinning ear to ear is the season opener at Bulldog Stadium against Sacramento State. Can you see? Look at those goosebumps. I, I, am, I, you, I am excited. I mean, I can't tell you. what. Let's go. Come on. I mean, let's, let's get it done. And there's no doubt that the idea of turning that passion into deafening cheers... 
motivates him. The Dog Days of Summer on 1430 ESPN Radio.